I suppose you being a local boy, when things are, are a bit tough, you probably hear about it from your mates and and uh, all your friends. Do you uh, do you have to sort of live with a couple of bad results like that? Um, yeah, a little bit. Obviously, you know, there's always going to be noise, um, say out, outside of our bubble, sort of thing. But um, we know where we stand at the same time as well, and um, we know the situation that we're in. And yeah, we've we've got to stand up and. Uh, and be accountable for it. Yeah, uh, James seems to think you're getting close to performances other than he said one half, uh, first half against Salford. He thinks the results will come on the back of it. Are the players convinced by that as well? Yeah, we are as well, yeah. And obviously, uh, we've had chats about it. And um, yeah, we've sort of just got it. Salford's done now. Um, and we can't, we can't change the outcome of that now. But what we can change is obviously... Uh, moving forward and what we do on Saturday. So, yeah, um, we look forward to trying to put it right Saturday. I know that you've read and you you obviously experience it. It's been a while since you've won at home because fans always look at the end of last season as well. Um, have the players got a hang-up about playing at Rodney Parade? Do you still enjoy going there and, and playing there? Um, yeah, we do. Obviously, you know, our fans um, are loud every time we play there and... Yeah, we do, but at the same time, we're, I think we're stuck in this situation where we know that we need to get a win, and I'm sure that when we do get our first win, that um, yeah, we can really push on from there, sort of thing. But obviously, when you're winning games week in week out, you have the confidence at the moment. I don't think we haven't got that so much because we haven't picked up the win, but you know, we just got to keep grinding, and um, after we pick up that first win, I'm sure we can go from there. Because I don't need to tell you, the last win was Bristol Rovers when a certain James Wade scored. Yeah, and obviously looking back at that, you know. That was a good while ago now. So, yeah, um, we know that we've got to put it right. And, yeah, we'll, we'll do our very best to do that. And you've had a full pre-season under your belt now again at, at a professional club. How are you feeling in yourself? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm feeling fit. Um, obviously ready to go. And, uh, yeah, we're all working hard every day to um, to put things right. And hopefully it falls into place soon. Uh, and obviously you're, you're feeling bad about Oz being up for a few weeks now, but it's, it's up to everybody else now to step forward and when he comes back, the club be in a better position than they are now, even though it's early. Yeah, 100%. Obviously, yeah, it's really disappointing to lose a player like Oz. Obviously, he works so hard for the team. Uh, he's a massive help, yeah, but um, he's a positive guy and I'm sure he'll be back sooner rather than later. And, and you're enjoying yourself, yeah? It's, you know, you, you relish coming back in in January, back into a, a yeah. professional club like this. And, uh, you know, you've lost none of that appetite. In fact, probably added to it, have you? Yeah, 100% added to it. Um, you know, I'm doing something I love every day. So, yeah, there's always a chance for me to improve and I'm still learning every day. So, yeah, it's a great place to be for that. James, all the best. Have a good one tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Hi, James. Hi, mate. You good? Yeah, good, thanks. Um... Just wonder what what do you think you need to do to, to turn it around? Is it just a case of keep working hard, keep keep uh, working hard, and, and, and things will turn around? Um, I think so. Yeah, obviously, uh, we've got to believe in what we're good at, and we got to. Um, I know you say process, but it is the case that we need to um, concentrate on that sort of thing. Um, it's different to get confidence, obviously, when when you haven't won for a while. But um, like we said, that Luton game, uh, we got to look at that and that's got to give us some confidence because we put up against a good championship team and obviously won away there. So we've proved that we can do it against good teams. Now we just have to do it in the league and get that first one. Yeah. And the fans showed on, on Tuesday that they're still still behind you. Yeah, 100%. And uh, yeah, we know they will be. They, they're singing right to the end. Obviously, um, I think they sparked that. The comeback for us originally on Tuesday when we got the two goals, but yeah, it was disappointing that we couldn't um, hang on for that and at least try and nick a draw from it. Sometimes when you're on a run like this, you just need a maybe a lucky goal, then you're an early goal to get get the get the fans going, get everything going. Yeah, I think so. There's a little bit of luck element as well in it, but yeah, we, obviously we can't feel sorry for ourselves. We're in a situation that we're in, and uh, only we can get ourselves out of that. So yeah, we'll do everything we can to um, put it right Saturday. Tranmere won't um, won't be uh, easy opposition to face. No, definitely not. And to be honest, there's not an easy game in this league. Um, they're all going to be tough, and they all pose different threats as well. But um, yeah, we like I said, we've got to take confidence and believe in what we're doing, and um, yeah, and focus on Saturday. And you've got another new teammate come in the door yesterday, uh, Thierry. 
Yeah, we've got a new place in, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry to see what he's about today and um, going forward. And, yeah, he'd be welcomed into the group. Yeah. He hasn't trained with you yet, has he? Pardon? He hasn't trained yet. Um, no, <laughs> no, he'd be in today, so, yeah. yeah. So, you excited to see what he can do? Mm. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, um, you know, it's competition for places here. And um, so, more in the door, that, that can only benefit us, really. Yeah. Good stuff. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Morning, James. Morning, mate. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay, thanks. Uh, obviously, I've just got an Epoch County signed Will Evans from Ballatown in the Cymru Prem. You yeah. yourself coming in January from the Cymru Prem. What was the transition like? Uh, it's a tough transition, obviously. I was only there really in the Cymru Prem for a fairly short period of time, so... Um, yeah, the transition wasn't too bad for me. Obviously, you're going from part-time football to get back into full-time, so yeah, I think it takes a couple of weeks to get up to up to speed with it. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying it now and settled in. If you helped well at all since he's been at the club in terms of the transition? Yeah, obviously we knew each other already before we come in, so I think it's always easier for a player to come in when he, he's already got a few faces that he knows in here. So yeah. The other day, it was 30 years of the coming family. That league's helped you kickstart your career, isn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, um, yeah, I enjoyed my time there, obviously. And I think it was big for me to go there, um, show what I can do, sort of, in men's football. And, yeah, go from there. All the best tomorrow. Thank you, mate. Cheers. James, are you a superstitious sort of person? I mean, do you hop onto the pitch? Do you put your one sock on before the other, or...? No, I'm not massively, to be fair, and um, I'm not complaining that either because I know it can drive some players mad. Uh, yeah, all this superstition. So luckily, now I don't have many superstitions. Uh, are any of the players sort of turning to some of their old uh, ways and double crossing themselves or doing anything else because of the way that you've started the season? Um, not that I know of. No, I know there's a few boys with their superstitions here, and uh, they tend to keep it the same most days. But um, obviously, yeah. I don't really t uh, look too much into that because I haven't got them myself. So. No. so from within the dressing room, what's it yeah. going to take to turn this around? And more importantly, what's it going to take to get that win at home? Yeah, um, obviously we spoke about it a lot since Tuesday and I think the main one is that we need to stick together. Um, we got to look out for each other and, yeah, stand strong, really. Like I said, we, there's no feeling sorry for ourselves. We're in a situation that we're in and... Um, Oh, yeah, only we can get ourselves out of that. So uh, we need a big push, obviously. And we need to just believe in what we've been doing because, obviously, it's not getting us results right now. But if you look at last year, they got us plenty of results there. They got us a result at Luton on the Tuesday. So, um, yeah, I think we need, just need to focus on that, really. So there's no feeling of dread when you walk into the dressing room or when you come out onto the pitch at, at Rodney Parade? No, it doesn't seem that, no. And um, like I said... Um, the past is in the past sort of thing um, we just have to be positive and move on and mm -hmm. uh, yeah try and put that right because it's interesting you know you, you, you play against the top of the table Salford they go yeah. two up you come back um, so it, that proves you're not far away and then maybe one small lapse and it's it's gone away from you but that's been the story isn't it just not being on point for 95 minutes or wherever it is one little mistake has caused you difficulties. Yeah, definitely. And like you said, it's fine margins in this league. One mistake can cost you, um, well, in our case, a point last uh, last Tuesday, but it can cost you all three down the line. So, yeah, we have to be switched on, concentrated. And, um, and yeah, we've got to make the most of it when we do get them comebacks and making sure that we don't go behind again. When do you start looking at the table? Because it doesn't look good at the moment. Um, no, of course it doesn't look good, but... At the same time, um, well, well, we played four games. Um, you know, there's a lot of games. There's a lot of games left to play. And um, but yeah, we know we know the situation that we're in, and we know that we need to get our first win under our belt sooner rather than later. So there's no denying that. It's coming Saturday. Don't worry. Yeah, it's definitely. Thanks, fella. <laughs> no problem.